So I was walking my dog today and then I got to thinking, man, I really should have brought my camera with me. Well, Teddy didn't poop at all. And if you know my mom, she goes crazy if he doesn't poop. So you have to keep walking him until he does finally poop. So I came back home to get my camera so that you could come with us. So I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of Teddy. This is Teddy. We adopted him from the SPCA. He was really badly abused. When we got him, he is like Dennis the Menace, but in dog style. He's crazy, full of energy. He gets into everything. And I swear this dog is kind of also like a cat too as well. He gets into my mom's knitting constantly and ruins it for her. She gets so incredibly angry at him and he breaks her needles all the time. He'll eat anything. He gets into chocolate all the time. I don't know how he gets into chocolate, but he does. He finds a way, but yeah, he's still alive. I swear this dog has nine lives like a cat. And he's eaten razors before, but not the razor blades. I swear this dog has a death wish or something, but he's so full of life. I love him even though he's very quirky. Are you gonna run? Are you gonna run? Say hello. Hi. Go on. Let's go run. Go on. Go run. Go on. Go on. What is he? What'd you find? Nothing. Okay, Teddy, come here. Come here, Teddy. Where are you going? Thirsty from running around? You go get kisses? Get kisses? Well, whose fault was that? <laughs> so this month is all about music. So the first part of the question is, what song in 2009 lyrically describes your life? I think for me personally, the song that describes my life almost every year would have to be the song by Jaden Lavick called Let It Go. To quote it, here and now is where I wanna be, not hanging on some worn out memory. And that is oh so true. No matter how crazy life gets, here and now is where I wanna be, surrounded by the most amazing people, that being you guys. So that's definitely a song that describes my life almost every year. The next part of the question is, what song in 2009 helped you get through difficult times? I think for me, I listen to really, really depressing songs when I'm going through a difficult time and on repeat while I cry. <laughs> Pathetic, I know. So for example, Down by Jason Walker is really, really depressing, but if I'm ever in that moment, that's a song that I put on repeat. Another song that I also put on replay would be the song Brooklyn by Wakey Wakey, which is an incredibly beautiful song. But if you're ever in that moment, it can also be really depressing too. On a more positive note, the song that I've listened to for years that's helped me get through difficult times is the song called I Believe in You by Bethany Dillon. It's an incredibly beautiful song. It's uplifting and it always makes me feel better. So if you're ever going through that difficult time in your life, definitely check out I Believe in You by Bethany Dillon. Although I must say that when I listen to that song on repeat, I do cry too, but that's what I do. I listen to these songs, I cry, I get over it, and then I move on. Those songs that I love but hate to admit that I love, well, if you know me, you know I'm not a huge fan of mainstream pop, so three songs that I find incredibly catchy are TikTok, Party in the USA, and Replay. Those are really catchy songs. They're really good, but I hate to admit it. Favorite song in 2009? That's really hard to decide because there were so many amazing songs in 2009, but I absolutely loved Mariana's Trench's album that came out in 2009, 
And I would have to say probably my favorite song would have to be Beside You from that album. It is incredibly beautiful, which I know I say that a lot in this video, but it really is. I will post a link to all of these songs in the sidebar so you can go check them out, but that is definitely probably one of my favorite songs because it's just so beautiful. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous month and I will see you next month in February.